Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Tiffany Eweka, aka Surigaye, because I mean, I am married. <laughs> oh my god, and a new mom. Wow. Guys, it was like just yesterday when I came up here to say, oh, me and my husband went on a honeymoon trip. And you know, I was about to do the whole um, vibes of new wife. I remember if I came up with a small series called the new wife routine kind of can't remember what it's called and i was so excited to start but what happened your girl got pregnant <laughs> i got pregnant and i'm not even gonna lie like it's been a blessing so far it's been tough but it's been a blessing so far i mean look at me a year later anniversary celebrated and i've got a four month old baby yes a baby boy <laughs> but anyway twins let's get into today's video today's video is a very nice one you know i'm really happy to share this with you guys because i feel like it's been long since we did this whole let's catch up you know q a session um so um a few days ago i um posted on my instagram that i wanted to film a video on my new life basically how I'm balancing being a mother with being a wife and also a career woman for those of you that do not know i am a career woman yes i resumed work when my baby was three months old i mean ghana our maternity is only three months yes it is so it's been kind of tough but it's not been really tough and everybody just wants to like know like oh have you been coping my people on instagram to show me questions and i'll answer if you guys are on my instagram this is your cue to go follow me i'm gonna put the link to my instagram in my description so you guys will be sure to follow me so without further ado let's get into the questions now i got a lot of questions and for the sake of time and being straightforward in this video because no me i can't talk <laughs> let's just answer 10 yes 10. so yeah the first question is um meanwhile okay we'll celebrate something at the end of this video so how do you manage your time effectively to fulfill your roles as a new mom wife and professional hmm nice question how do i manage my time okay so a little background story um i have the best support system i have my husband and i got a nanny and that's as much as i need and of course i have an amazing boss who is so understanding he's been understanding like since my pregnancy so me juggling like being a mom a wife a, a, and, a, and a career woman comes pretty easy because of these three factors because when i came back from canada my husband was like i don't want you to be stressed i know postpartum depression happens when a woman is derived or me sorry deprived of sleep and the next morning she has to wake up and put it in order what would you need and i was like i need a nanny actually <laughs> do you guys know like even before i put to bed that's before i gave birth i already knew who my nanny was going to be because my mom had this old or another new woman i think she's in her 50s she used to clean her house and everything and i was like this woman when i give birth i was not even pregnant and i was like oh when i have to having children this woman will be my nanny so i actually already knew and when i came out my husband was like is this something you want to do you really want to stay in and i'm like i trust this woman and we hired her and Charlie, before she even came you know it was like two weeks before she came like when i came back to ghana so she had not resumed my husband was so amazing he is amazing like this man would literally allow me to be sleeping and he'll be working the baby he's feeding the baby and this man is like a whole ceo you know he works for himself you know working from but he always had my time and till today he's such an active dad so my husband has helped me tremendously so moving on i hope that answers your question so i'm moving on what are some strategies you use to maintain a healthy work-life balance okay so i'm this kind of person when i am home in fact as soon as i'm getting to the house after work like as soon as i get to my gate anything that stressed me from work like i'm saying anything anything work related i don't want to know i leave it there in fact my my people always tell me you don't reply messages you don't you don't check your phone this and that because when it's work time i'm focused at work when it's house time i leave everything there because sometimes people can frustrate you at the office and you carry that frustration to your house and vice versa anything that's happened to me at home anything that has just like disrupted my day as soon as i'm getting to the office i'm leaving it at the doorstep and i'm entering the office because 
sometimes but sometimes i'm only human i might go to work with a bad attitude it happens but i try to make it a conscious effort so that i don't just you know i start mixing work home you know and when i'm home i make sure like as i'm home right now well, of course i'm home <laughs> but it's the weekend and saturdays i try to give my nanny in fact no friday evening she goes home to her own house so i have like the whole of saturday and half of sunday to myself with my baby we're bonding and everything so there's just balance everywhere so i just try to make sure that i have time for home i'm not doing work stuff on the weekend when i come back so i try and finish anything and i always tell my, my people if it can't be done the next day do the next day i don't bring work home i don't have to do that i don't do that so yeah another question number three question is on how do you prioritize self-care while juggling multiple responsibilities um, all these questions are starting to seem like similar questions but okay i'm trying to gonna make this make sense as much as i can how do i prioritize self-care <sighs> it's not been easy like um before I, I got married, in fact, before I had my baby, I'd always, every Saturday, I go to the spa, you know, not every Saturday, every Saturday, every last Saturday in the month, I go to the spa, I do my laser, I wax, you know, looking you know, all pretty and stuff, but Charlie, since I gave birth, children are expensive, my child is, he's an expensive child, he's high maintenance, huh, Liam, <laughs> he's so expensive, so I don't really... I hope I'm answering your question well. I don't really know how to prioritize that again. It's tough, but I I have a routine. I think, yeah, I think that should be the first thing I should have said. I have a routine, a skincare routine. I use Korean skincare. I think I love Korean skincare. I use Korean skincare products a lot. And I have a particular routine that I follow every time. So I just, at least every time, then Saturdays, I might just like put my facial marks and just relax a bit and just you know try to distress sometimes watching a movie watching a movie too is a form of self-care when i feel so overwhelmed i just watch a movie or something i don't really like tv i don't really do tv but sometimes i do my netflix shows you know so that's what i do you know and like i said i have a very good support system so even if today i want to actually go to the spa let's say i have big money because right now the money is going into the baby and his upkeep and everything if i have some big money i can't go i mean i have a nanny i have a help i have my husband who's so amazing so i can i mean next next question how do you involve your spouse in parenting and household responsibilities like i said like i mentioned earlier on my husband is so so present like god i've never seen a man like him honestly i've a man who is so involved in the child's life like this man when the child wake up sometimes like i said like the weekends nanny will go off and i might be tired on that friday my son will stay with this but he'll rock the boy then we go and sleep i'm not seen a man knows that knows how to rock a baby to sleep my husband is just he's just <sighs> he's such a good dad like if if at all anything this man is a good dad and i don't even have to when i was even pregnant so there was a time that i was on bed rest and i couldn't do anything I couldn't do jack my husband was the one cooking for us so and i just feel that's how it's supposed to be and my husband ends morning that i mean like more morning when i say more morning like this guy is loaded <laughs> he was so sound dragging his leg but what i'm trying to say is that he's still so humble he's still a very humble man it's crazy i don't know how he does but i'm just so blessed you know I, this, this, this is not a question <laughs> next question how did you lose the baby fat um guys breastfeed or pump it's the way you know when i became pregnant like after i think i got to my third trimester i became like an elephant <laughs> and i was like how will i lose this weight how how do i lose this weight you know i was very very um insecure but like my mom kept on encouraging me that when you start breastfeeding you just lose weight i was like are you sure i was reading online is this thing true you know i was like ah is it true i don't know if it's true but i was like okay maybe it's true so i was like okay fine no problem and you know like i don't know if i mentioned it i think i mentioned it in one of my vlogs everybody does not breastfeed directly so i pump so i started pumping milk you know i, I get a lot of milk so i'm pumping 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 pump, pumping and at some point ah, everyone was just like this guy you're going lean in fact i lost so much with that in fact i'm i'm i don't speak bad english i am i am not as fat as i was even before i got married like when i was when i was getting married i was wearing i'm not sure to say this, i was wearing 88 kg i was trying to lose weight for my wedding 
when I became pregnant, I, I, I got to 105 kg. As I speak to you now, I'm about, in fact, before I came back, I was like about 78. But you know, I've been eating food here in Ghana. So I'm now like, um, I think last time I checked, I was like 82 kg. That, I, I lost so much weight. Like, I lost a lot of weight. So it can just, it's only the breast milk, like breastfeeding or pumping. It really does help. And when I oh, later on Googled, pumping naturally helps you burn calories. So even if you're not breastfeeding, and if you're not losing, if you're not expressing, it doesn't matter. Just be patient with yourself. It will go. Some people have been telling me that at six months, I'll get fat. Like when the baby is six months old, I'll get fat. But let's see. I'm yet to see that. But yeah, that's, that's, I didn't do anything. That was just what happened. I think expressing a lot. And I wasn't really eating at some point because I was really depressed <laughs> when I first came in bed. But like I said, anything, what works for me might not work for you. So, don't don't beat yourself about it. It's not a problem. So moving on, what are some challenges you faced in balancing your different roles and how did you overcome them? Like I said earlier on, and I was to say I really don't have challenges because I have all the help in the world. My support system is A1. I have a very understanding, amazing, supportive husband. Shout out to you, baby. <laughs> I have a nanny, I have a help and I know you people are like why should I mention her mom in this equation my mom actually hurt herself her wrist so she's not been able to help me as much as she wants to but if her wrist was okay it would be like biggest support system but yeah I'm okay with this support system for now and it's not been overwhelmed like i'm not overwhelmed like i go to bed from work i wake up i'm smiling you know because new mom at least for the next three office has said oh you can resume by eight or nine so you just pick it it's got a routine routine schedule that works for you and i've been happy like i don't have eye bags i'm just enjoying this motherhood thing and my baby ah it's the person I'm supposed to have given a shout out to at the beginning of this vlog. My baby, Liam, baby boo. He's such an amazing baby. This boy does not cry like that. The boy knows the stress. Like, he's not like those. This, this, do you know my baby? Like, he can sleep. If my baby sleeps by 12 midnight now, he does not wake up till 6 a.m. or 7. Only on some rare occasions. Like, if you go and get shot, like his injection, or he's not feeling. And he's. He only had a. a a small thing one time that was wrong with him and it made him not sleep well but besides that i begin with the stress at all he doesn't stress he does even in fact these days he doesn't even cry when he's hungry he will just start to like suck his lips like and you know that he's hungry he doesn't stress at all if he's tired then you'll be cranky but this boy does not cry he's such a good baby so he has partially helped with keeping my sanity and everything so it's it's amazing so there's not really a time where i feel so overwhelmed or guilty because i try to just enjoy myself and you know i have help and i'm not i don't feel bad about having help because nobody get an award for struggling if you can afford it then just afford it do it next question um these questions are starting to this question that says this question is starting to look a bit similar so if i read one and i feel like it's similar i'll skip it let me see can you share any stories or experiences that highlight the rewards of successfully handling these roles your roles what roles is this i don't know what that means okay so okay this question i don't know if you answered up to 10 questions but i'm not counting are you counting <laughs> so next question what advice would you give to a new mom or to other new moms sorry wives and professionals who are striving to find balance hmm <sighs> take a breather i'll speak something pigeon crying you know the cubic in you see my baby was not always this awesome <laughs> when he was little he had colic he used to cry if your baby has had colic before you know what i'm talking about he used to cry a lot do not beat yourself down about it do not beat yourself up is he up or down anyone do not beat yourself up if he's crying sometimes leave him get a bit of rest ask your partner to help you it's not easy you're also trying to be a wife you know and at the end of the day it all comes down to who you married that's just the truth that's why i always tell like ladies out there who you married there's some people they have husbands but they don't know how to do anything. Like, they don't help. When the baby is crying, the husband will just face one side and they'll be sleeping. Me, I knew that this person I'm marrying 
is a very good person like i've seen him with kids so i had no fear that this person but i did not know that this person would exceed my expectations when it comes to parenting he's amazing he's one of the reasons why i can sit down here i'm looking good i'm smiling i'm glowing because i'm not stressed and i don't have that guilt of oh if a nanny raises your child they'll not know you let me tell you something nannies literally and helps literally raised me and my siblings but today me and my mom are like this my dad i'm daddy's girl all of us self are close to our parents me that i was one sort of very independent growing up because of i didn't really because i was raised by you know and a lot of people were in the house so my mom was my mom oh for course she focused on us when it, it came to like focusing on us but to say oh she's the one that did everything like how some girls like to kill themselves at all though. at all she didn't do that so and we turned out perfectly i mean i finished school well i didn't get pregnant on time i got married i had a child i have a job so i turned out well so quite from the what people will say oh don't get nanny don't get help because of you feel like um your child do not know you i think that that's like bs you know i'm not trying to derive from the question but this is just an advice i'm like giving like that's how to balance the whole like work being a wife and of of course besides having a good partner um you to have time for your partner you know you know when your husband wants that food give him the food listen as you want focus on me i know some people like this as you move give your husband food when he asks for food in the other room give your husband do your wife lead you things. <laughs> don't forget that you know like i said like of course he's he's a man that's helping you still cook me i i do my since in fact since we got married in fact since he has known me i do book cooking so i just put it in the fridge and you know just if you can do that do that if you have a man that doesn't really mind you know and every day when I come out from work, I'm able to warm the food and everything. So I'm not I'm not feeling overwhelmed at all. Cause like I said, I have help, so it really helps me like in that aspect. So just just take a breather. Like if you don't have help or you don't have an understanding partner, just take a breather and just I don't really know how to advise you because you actually need a supportive partner. And like I said, if you can get help, get help. Don't be shy to ask for help. If you're feeling overwhelmed, begin cry no they keep picking. If you don't have any help, let him cry small. If you don't trust nannies, you can put him in a daycare. Whatever sits well by you. Or you can become a full time mom to take care of a baby. Nobody's going to judge you for that. It all comes down with the kind of partner you have. That's just the truth of the matter. Yeah, and also like I said, work. I have an amazing boss, you know, who who lets me be flexible when I want, when I need to, you know. But there's also like the work respect. Like okay, I know that okay, he's being cool to me, so me to have to do my job. So I just try to do everything on time. And look at I'm recording this video right now at eight thirty in the night on a Sunday. My baby is sleeping. He's with his daddy. It's not easy, but you can do it. Just prioritize. Have a routine. It really, really helps. A routine really, really helps so next question um okay this question looks similar can you share any tips i think i just shared the tips already um how has been how has becoming a mom and wife influenced your content creation journey on youtube ah um i've used my baby to blow <laughs> i'm always to blow on this channel <laughs> there's a video i uploaded of my my baby getting his first shot and the video went viral and of course on youtube and there was one i did of my pregnancy transformation and i just put it on tiktok for fun and that video went viral like blogs were kind even today as we speak it's still viral you know it's really helped you know you get content from like your lifestyle not like i'm using my baby to train but i mean if i don't do it who will and of course my wedding videos and my q a with my husband those videos have really done well on my channel you know i'm this type of person like i really wish i shared my pregnancy journey with you guys like from the beginning but it wasn't easy it was tough but like now that they are here everything is nice and my baby loves the camera like if i just open my phone or something in front of him he'll start smiling he knows the moment the content creator so it's been it's influenced it in the most positive way that it could influence anything like it's been good like ah thank you god bless my man and thank you to my baby too so <laughs> moving on what challenges have you faced and how have you overcome them as a new mom professional and content creator 
I think I've answered. I don't really have challenges, but I try to just balance, balance, baby, balance. Um, any advice for aspiring moms who want to pursue a passion on YouTube and also manage work life and model? Ah, this question, your question is long ago. Um, any advice? Like I said, and I will always say, it depends on the person you marry, though. Like, my husband believes in me more than I believe in myself. He's always pushing me, like, Tiffany, you have to do this. You have to invest this in yourself. You have to go for this. You have to do that. Like, he's just always steadily pushing me, you know. So, with a man like that, that pushes me to be the best, if I tell him that I don't take his career, next career step, he'll say, go for it. If I tell him that, oh, I want to go and party, and this, he'll be looking at me like, you want to go and do what? Have you added value in your life? How much is your salary? By the time it gives me those words, I'll just go back to my drawing board, you know. So, not just to make you feel bad, but if you're an aspiring mom and you still want to have your career life and you, you want to come to YouTube or anything, I don't know, just go for it, you know. And if your partner is not understanding, nothing God cannot do. Pray. My husband has not always been this perfect like I make him to be. It's been years upon years because we've been dated for a while, you know, knowing each other and becoming each other's best friends. But once it's about him as a person, this is not just because I'm his wife, it's that he always wants the best for people. He wants to see people grow. My husband, if if you're my husband's friend and you're not growing, like who cuts you off? Because how can you be with me and you're not growing? Like you're not taking advice and my husband there's no advice he has given me that if i take it or i've taken that has ever failed me so he's amazing like that and that's just basically it it just boils down to that so this final question somebody said so how has been a mommy been for you in general ah i saved this last question for i said it was like so i saved this question for last it's been amazing being a new mom has been so amazing i liam baby boo as i call him is the most amazing baby ever he i call him smiles for like okay because he's always smiling my boogie he's always smiling he can smile he can laugh he's just a happy baby like he doesn't have he's happy he's just like his dad is always laughing everything is funny today <laughs> When my husband is angry, oh, he's sad, oh, he's happy, oh, he's annoyed, oh, 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 they laugh, picking to the laugh, and he's just an amazing boy, you know, he just has this lovable personality, like, when you meet him, you just love him, like, to know Liam is to love him, and I'm not just saying because he's my baby, he's just been amazing, mother has been good to me, um, the only thing is that my hair is now falling off. I've tied this cafe, so y'all can't see it. But maybe I'll talk about it in one of my videos. I've lost like my front hair. Don't worry, I've used my other hair to kind of do this, so you you can't notice. But yeah, the hair has grown long, but I've lost front hair. But it's okay, it's all good. At least I lost weight. I look trim. My skin is popping, as you can see, as you can tell. That's all thanks, my baby boo. So anyway, it was, it's been an amazing journey so far, and it's been amazing talking to you guys on this Q&A. Please follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be asking you guys to ask me more questions on different things in like maybe a few months from now. This q and I, I do it like once in a while. And also, my husband and I celebrated our first year anniversary a few weeks ago. We have a video coming up on that too. So stay tuned to this channel. And also, dun -dun 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 the last, the best for last, we're celebrating 10,000 of you guys. Hey! It's been long coming. <laughs> I don't suffer for this channel. And like I said, like someone said, uh, how did you, how did my my being like a wife and a mom impact my channel? Ever since I started posting like content about my family and all that, and just just being myself on this platform, I've had like new followers. I mean, when I came back to YouTube, I only had about nine thousand five hundred subscribers, and I I go back to YouTube like proper proper in july and it's it's october now we're celebrating 500 new people that have come which means that these new people are enjoying the content and i'm so happy and yeah if you like more content like this let me know in the description box if you want to ask me any questions ask me i'll answer thank you for watching i remember your favorite girl let me use my actual marital name now tiffany o Sergei. peace please subscribe Hey. Tune into the King of Songs of...